All right, guys, we time to do Lenny's quest. No limit to the number of I'm excited to do this. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, it's Lenny, and I'm Lenny. Oh, it's Charlotte, just kidding. <laughs> Off to a great start, guys. I see. So you believe that this warning letter was sent by the Phantom Weasel? Phantom Weasel, Absolutely. that's a I've new one. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The Phantom Weasel never acts as you expect. He oh. must have faked his own death ten years ago using a body double. Thank you, sir, for your time. Now, whom should I interview next? Oh, sorry, that's me. I'm just absolutely I'm just breaking in. Fancy meeting so you can make me breakfast tomorrow. I hope you don't mind. Perfect timing. So, the Phantom Weasel's latest warning letter. What are your thoughts? I wonder when. Oh wait, we read about the Phantom Weasel, didn't we? Wasn't yeah. it like on a book or something? This is the first time we're hearing of this one. Never mind. I guess not. Oops. Huh? Oh. Oh. oh thank yeah. you. Yes, this case is from a decade ago. I guess you wouldn't know about it. Everyone's been saying that. I did my well, makeup like how I always do. Is it because I'm not wearing like a sweatshirt for once? Or like my literal pajamas? Like this. Should I not wear pajamas more? Ten or so years ago, a phantom thief became active in the court of Fontaine. Known only as the Weasel. Nobody knew his true identity. And the authorities Hello, never managed Welcome to back. catch him. Wow, cool! You sound like one of those mysterious night burglars that you read about in novels. Precisely. Well, except the part where they actually have a good reputation. Our weasel targeted whatever people held dear. This is very yummy. Was safe from his predations. Guys, this fall drink from Starbucks. A from a rich merchant's safe as it would a toy doll given it's to like a, a little treat. child for their birthday. Wait, it's like dessert. <laughs> I know. Sounds like an the absolute weirdo. How lovely. Rob the rich to pay the poor, but this guy did not discriminate. Unsurprisingly, this didn't work wonders for his public. I don't look like a sleepy homeless person. That's bars. nuts. Yeesh. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> Is that what I normally look like when I stream? Um, not exactly. A sleepy a homeless person would still be at large to this day if it hadn't been oh for my an God. accident ten yeah, years ago. I'll take it. That's fair. A magician named Caesar fell to his death in a botched high-altitude escape performance. When the police went through his personal effects, Peace they loves found Starbucks. a hoard of stolen loot and gadgets used for criminal activities. And that was how the Phantom Weasel's identity was revealed to all. Sure enough, thefts in Fontaine went down after Caesar's death. But today, ten years on, the notorious thief has once again issued one of his warning letters and pasted it on the gate of the opera. Oh, I see Lenny. Hey. Hey. I squeezed through the crowd this morning to get a photo as Found soon him. as I heard. Y'all, the quest is starting. It's this one. Wow, that is definitely something. So, this is the warning letter, huh? Let's see what he wrote. Three days from now, when evening falls, I shall take from you that which you hold most dear at the opera house. Just as you did to me. Were they going to take, like, Lenny or... They're gonna take the Archon? No. <laughs> without a doubt, Bring a run. A clear declaration of criminal intent. After years of laying low, the hey, look at this pen I got. Back with a vengeance. It's like the sign but from Naruto, like Ichiraku Ramen. Been blown wide open again. But I never put it on my pinboard. I, I need to show you guys my pinboard. I sense an epic scoop, and I'm going for it. Uh oh. Nice. If this thief will steal anything that other people value, does that mean even we might be targeted? Doesn't want to well, get kidnapped. Let's go cute. You, first. you would stop him, right? Okay, the people have spoken. It's clear that the public are very ASMR. concerned about the guys. Should I do ASMR one day? Kids. Be honest, hey guys, welcome back. To my Let's channel. see, I've got a photo of the letter, my interview notes. Yep, that should be enough to form the skeleton of my article. It does feel like something is missing, though. Something. Who should I interview next? I need Deku to ASMR more is crazy. The weasel. Um, hmm. Hey guys. Uh, is that who I think it is? <laughs> no. Lenny. Not allowed. It's Lenny, guys. He's doing some magic. Magic. Magician. Caesar. <gasps> the Phantom Weasel. That's it. Let's go interview Lenny. 
All right, let's see what li what's wow, up with Mr. Linny. Magician? Mr. Magician. Mr. Magician. card I picked? I'm going to take a while oh, guess to say magic. Come closer and I'll let you in on my secret. Magicians have a special skill called telepathy, which means we can read other people's minds. Oh God, he's all, all men do oh, is really? lie. Do you see this? Then, what am I thinking now? Well, first you need to relax, because I can see that you're clenching your fist in your mind, as if to say, no, I mustn't let him guess it. Aww. <laughs> and now you're getting a little flustered. You're trying to find a way to empty your mind, to think of nothing at all. But the more you try to hide a secret, the easier it'll come out. That sounds like foreshadowing. You from home today, <laughs> didn't you? You told your family a little lie so you could come out and play. Now, now, that's not a good habit. Why did he like chipmunk at me? You don't hear that? Was he trying to like tiss? Oh boy. That? You really can read my mind. Of course. Oh, and that's the end of my performance. You should really be heading home. Ah. Remember to apologize to your family, all right? They must be worried about you. Uh, all right, got it. Bye, Mr. Magician. Good job. Uh, hey, Linny. Why, hello. We meet again. Are you looking for me? What's the situation? I'm stalking you. Well, Casual. Why don't you guess, Mr. Telepathic? Oh, please. You didn't believe that spiel, did you? The power of telepathy is quite beyond me. Really? I'm, I'm sure shocked. A child would beg to differ. Seems like you were right on the money. That was nothing more than a little trickery. I made an educated guess based on his micro expressions. That, micro expressions. Plus the fact that he was the only kid here without his parents, and he looked as guilty as sin. He made it easy for me. You guys, on the other hand, hmm. Let me guess. Don't tell me you're here for the Phantom Weasel, are you? What? How did him win? Is this more of your trickery, Edward? Wait, really? <laughs> I might be in danger. No, I don't think I can get this, this off my mic. It was pure luck. I'm in danger. His warning letter's been the talk of the town, so I figured that maybe you were asking around about that. Bingo! I plan on writing a column reporting on the latest news about the Phantom Weasel. So, Linny, what are your thoughts on this infamous thief's reappearance? Hmm. It's like a thing, to be you? honest, it makes me angry. It's like a, a little angry? good luck thing. I think. Why? I forgot. You read his letter, right? The Phantom Weasel claims he's planning something in three nights' time at the Opera House. That's the night I'll be performing there. Pretty good odds. They're gonna steal Linny, I told you guys. They're gonna take him away. Well, if he is, then his warning is clearly a direct challenge to okay, me personally. And if he's not, then it's still going to be a huge headache for me. The mere mention of the weasel's name is enough to scare people off. So once the contents of that letter get out, barely anyone will be showing up to watch my show. But well, we catch I've him before then. For this for a long time. Guys, I'm not about to let sleuths. you ruin my big day. This, this leaves like me with only one dream. choice. I've always wanted to be a detective ever since I watched Blue's Clues. Identity before the show <laughs> really? So what you're saying is we might get to see a live duel between a famous magician and an infamous thief? Wow, this has exclusive. I like how journalists are like kind of like professional honest, gossips. I'm not sure if you know? I'll merge the victor. <laughs> The Phantom Weasel is a notorious like, that's kind of fun. Crook, infamous for his inscrutable methods. You're being far too modest, Linny. I think your magic tricks are even more inscrutable than those Guys, my back hurts so badly. Thanks for I the wanna, like, lay down on my back or I something. I have to say, I don't care much for the comparison. Oh. A lot of people liken magicians to thieves because we both have the ability to make things disappear without the person noticing. But there's an important difference that these people overlook. Allow me to demonstrate with a quick magic trick. Here, I have a flower. Just an ordinary flower that was picked not long ago. Watch okay. it carefully now. Three, two, one. 
What? <gasps> it's gone, it's y'all. <laughs> Look, she's so surprised. That's the question. Where did it go? Therein lies the difference between us. Thieves make precious things disappear, but only magicians make them reappear. Where's the flower? Is if it on I my head? I invite you all to check your oh. clothes. There might be a surprise in there somewhere. A surprise? Oh, let me see! Magic tricks are pretty cool. I always wonder it's how people do it. Trick. Magic, of course, Sorry, but you know, aside from all the magic. Praise was woefully inadequate. Clearly, magic is the superior art form to theft. Don't worry, I didn't take offense. I just wanted to take the opportunity. You guys to know I have a cowlick. Perhaps change some of the preconceived notions you might have about right magicians. Right there, it goes view. Since and I can't do anything death, about it. A lot of people associate magicians with criminality. It can be quite frustrating. I can imagine a cowlick uh, coming back to your trick just now. Might I presume that you are well versed in a cowlick is like, oh, example, you would never. Use rainbow roses so it's like when a piece of your hair like sticks up and like won't bonkers. like move no matter what you do. Like, see, like if I flatten it but here, it'll still curve like that. Do you see what I mean? Mistaken, allude to That's a cowlick. Or like sometimes people have them like at the top of their heads. Deeper meaning behind this choice. I think they're more Impressive common in boys, knowledge. though, I feel like. It's no wonder you're such a successful but. journalist. But I'm afraid I don't know the first thing about floral symbolism. I'm just in the habit of using Lumidoo spells in my magic. It sounds like something I should look into, though. Hmm. I'll buy myself a copy of Fontaine's Floral Language Facts when I have some time. But it'll have to wait until this phantom weasel business is behind us. Well noted. In that case, this brings us to the end of our interview. I, for one, am looking forward to the final showdown between you and the thief. Please feel free to get in touch to update me on any further developments. Otherwise, I will of course see you at your show in three days' time. But let's hope the Phantom Weasel is caught by then. I liked canned fish as if well. There's nothing like tuna? Else, uh, I like that. Just give Ooh, me what kind of noodles my I've got no time to lose if I want to write that I just bought a bunch of soba noodles because I've been really cra craving like soul like cold noodles specifically. So I have to make them. I'm excited though. Tell us how you did that flower trick now. <laughs> <laughs> I know Charlotte's very cute. Aww. Well, magicians are entitled to their secrets. I hope she's um a catalyst. That'd be fun. Really itching to know how Funny sauce, doing. thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to stream. How are you? You feel it too, right? So itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Not so itchy then, huh? Well, since you're I so have a bunch of Korean rice cakes in my, like to serve as my fridge. Aspen, assistance let me know me when yours come, because then we'll make them together. I'll follow the same exact recipe you do. How about that? Magician's assistance? Oh, they're so oh, yummy. They're so yummy. Have you, have you ever had gnocchi? I compared it to gnocchi. Like, I think that's like what it sounds like or tastes like most similarly because it's like a really squishy and like soft pasta. Yeah, to me. It's a little chewier though. Whereas gnocchi is like softer and like more pillowy and, you know, doughy. The rice cakes are like chewier just like a little bit. Also, it'll bring us one step closer to figuring out how that darn trick is done. Shall we go for it? <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for putting your trust in moi. The first thing we need to look into is who Caesar really was. If he truly was the Phantom Weasel, that means that the Weasel is dead, and whoever wrote this warning letter is just a copycat criminal. I think nothing is lamer than being a copycat criminal. Hmm. Like, well, that'll make things more interesting. You couldn't even come up with your own concept. It, it seems the lame. Lives, and he's been laying low all this time in some corner of Fontaine. And if we're investigating Caesar, his fiance Gemma is a good place to start. Word uh -huh. is that she visits the cemetery often, so I hmm. asked Lynette to wait for her there. Go hydrate. We should make a move. Let's go and rendezvous with Lynette. Come on, Lynette. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. Lynette! <sighs> you took your time. 
I love her attitude. I bumped into the traveler and Charlotte en route, and we ended up chatting for a while. It's been a while, Annette. We're working as Lenny's temporary assistants in the investigation of the Phantom She's Weaver. so sweet. It actually has been a while. Thank you. It's good to have you helping. So, what's the situation? Have you seen Gemma? Nope. I've been here a while, and she still hasn't shown up. How bizarre. Maybe it was bad intel. Well, we won't get anywhere by standing around waiting. Traveler, Paimon, let's go ask around. Did you hear the news? They're saying the Phantom Weasel's back. You're kidding. Wait, isn't he dead? Wait, time out. That would be a good magic trick if he pretended to die and was like, I'm back! And then just... <laughs> I'm sorry, not funny. <laughs> I don't know anymore. All sorts of news flying around nowadays. I can never tell what's true and what isn't. Lucky me, thank you for the follow. Welcome to stream. What if? Just hypothetically, I mean. What if this weasel's the real deal and Caesar was framed? Called it. Seriously, ten years ago on the day it all went down, I said to myself, you know what? This guy's been set up. The Caesar I knew was a good guy. He gave balloons to children on the street for Pete's sake. Wow. What, are we supposed to believe that he was a balloon thief or something? Give me a break. Oh, please. Weren't you the one cursing his name to high heaven when the police announced the news? You were all, oh, that gosh darn lousy son of a, oh, you think you know a guy. Or son words to that effect. Beep. Wait. Oh my god, he does look like that? Sonic. Hmm. I don't seem to recall. Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes. <laughs> He does kind of look like Sonic. Gotta go fast. Oh my god. I remember one time I got kicked out of class. This is when I was a senior. I got kicked out of my physics class because me and my lab partner kept saying, we we're talking about like velocity and like speed and all this nonsense. And I kept saying, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. And he kicked me out of class. I hated that teacher though. He was, me and him would brawl because he was 23. When I was in high school, so I was like 18 and he was 23 and he was like back in my day. I was like, my older sister is older than you and I don't listen to her. So I'm not listening to your ass. Like, that's for sure. He was the worst. Uh, hi there. You're Gemma, right? Oh, I turned my auto off. My bad. Who's asking? Don't be afraid. We mean no harm. <laughs> but you got jumped by someone wearing a top hat. <laughs> like How bad is it? I'm just saying, like, imagine hand over thy purse, head ass, like, with the fucking <laughs> the top hat on, m'lady. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Thanks for oh your concern. God. But you didn't answer my question. Who are you? And what do you want with me? <laughs> Getting jumped by a magician, a cat, a floating toddler, and a tourist. Like, <laughs> my name is Lynn, fuck. and this is my sister, Lynette. It, all, 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 all at your your husband's grave, by the way. My name's Prima, oh my god! And this is the traveler. We're investigating the Phantom Weasel. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not funny. The weasel posted a warning letter this morning. If he still lives, that means that Caesar was falsely accused. You knew Caesar better than anyone else. So, if you're willing, we'd love to hear what you think about all this. I like her hair. It is different. It's very cool. The braid is nice. I promise you can trust us. We won't hurt you. In fact, we'll do all we can to keep you safe. I'm assuming uh, we know he's Fatui at this point, I right? I never believed that he was the weasel. Huh. I suspected as much. Okay, so going back ten years, do you remember anything strange in the weeks leading up to the accident? Did Caesar have a falling out with anyone, for instance? No. Not that I know of. <laughs> 
Got it. All right. Sorry for disturbing. Wait, are they you. twins? They're twins, right? The weasel was like his stage you name, don't I guess. Have any more questions? So he's a Please thief. Leave. I want to be alone with him. Damn. Oh, they are twins. I wasn't sure if they were just siblings or twins or whatever. Judging by the look on her face, there's definitely something fishy about her. She's lying. She definitely knows something. Does she have like a sixth sense because she's a cat? Hmm. That's fair. We're just a bunch of strangers who showed up and started questioning. I mean, he's dead though. It's not like we could like incriminate him. It makes sense that she'd be even more, you know. In any case, like someone's after her. I doubt her. we'll get any further here, so let's call it a day. Meet me outside Hotel De Boer tomorrow, and then we'll start the next step of our plan. Woo! Part two. Over here. Hey. As if we couldn't see him in his big ass hat from halfway across the map, but. Thanks for having us over. I've had her follow Gemma and see if we can make any inroads with her. They should be at a cafe right now. They're stalking. Still, I don't think that Gemma's likely to open up to us. So we need a contingency plan. Today we'll be looking into a guy named Lorenzo, Caesar's former pupil and assistant. Lorenzo. When Caesar There's passed a away, Lorenzo. all the stolen goods discovered in his home were confiscated and returned to their rightful owners. But Lorenzo was the only one privy to all his magic secrets, and he inherited his craft. Before long, Lorenzo was the next big magician in town, his fame surpassing even that of his master, and it made him very wealthy. He's since left the magic well, scene. Lorenzo sounds like a good days, suspect. I'm reading all this. Man with his fingers in a lot of different pies. Ew. <laughs> I, had to pull a I don't lot like that strings, saying. Fingers in I different pies. But I managed to get him to agree to a couple of oh. drinks with me. Be warned, though. I hear he's got a hair-triggered temper. We'd best be careful. You neglected to mention that you were bringing two other. Oh, people that's it. You. I'm already. Um, my you fighter, my, my fighter fight. These two are my assistants. Honestly, my and fighter fight is being triggered. The former magic maestro himself. They begged and pleaded with me to bring them along. Um, and if it's no trouble, a couple of autographs would really make their day. Oh, forget the pleasantries. Just sit. <laughs> he's so rude. Uh, Damn. Get a load of this guy. Forget the pleasantries, he says, but he looks pretty happy about Lenny stroking his ego. I only agreed to meet since we're both magicians. Do me a favor and cut to the chase. I have more important things to do than drinking. Not with that ponytail, you Much don't. Obliged, sir. As it happens, the matter I want to address is also related to magic. Yesterday morning, a warning letter from the Phantom Weasel appeared on the entrance to the Opera House. He claims to be planning something for the same evening that I'm scheduled to do a magic show there. As such, I believe that I may well be his target. I have to get to the bottom of this to ensure that my show can go ahead Hang as planned. Mother. Naturally, any investigation into the hmm. Weasel starts with a few questions good about night, Caesar. Good night, not good morning, sorry. Goodbye, Mother. What is there to investigate? Caesar was the weasel, and he's been dead for ten years. So what if some sick creep thought it'd be funny to write a warning letter? It changes nothing. Are you trying to tell me you actually bought it? He's so rude. Please, sir, no need to get so worked up. I do concede that a copycat is but one possibility. Possibility? It's a fact, Linny. Look, my patience is limited, so listen carefully while I'm still willing to put up with you. Oh, he's so the rude. The weasel is dead. Period. Period. Everyone knows that, so do yourself a favor and quit this investigation. It'll lead you nowhere. Look, if this affects your magic show in any way, I will personally compensate you for any losses. Oh, sir, I'm honored, really. But this isn't about finances for me. My pride as a magician is what's at stake here, Lorenzo. Copycat or not, this person has thrown me the gauntlet, and I must meet their challenge head on. Your pride? <laughs> Don't mince words with me, boy. Just tell me what exactly are you seeking to do? I want to find out the Phantom Weasel's true identity. I have to know for myself what really happened ten years ago. What would that accomplish? And what do the events of ten years ago have to do with you, anyway? He's probably Look, five, you of though. all people should know that a magician never reveals their secrets. And in any case, dead men don't talk. 
Oh, so that's, you really this guy is so suspicious. Pride, like, then I feel like it's almost too Caesar suspicious, you know? On. Like, it might be uh -oh. too obvious. Uh-oh, this is getting awkward. Lorenzo? Is that? Oh, it is you! <laughs> I know that big, uh, booming voice anywhere. <laughs> What's up, my man? Yeah, he said dead men don't talk. He sounds like Madara. Day, I'm busy. Oh, come on. You can't be all business all the time. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you know what they say. Live this fast, guy's nuts. die. If I wanted your Oops. life advice, I'd ask for it. Now get out of my face and go be drunk somewhere else. That's nuts. Sorry, my good sir. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh, hey. Um, Edmondo. He and I are both. Edmondo. <laughs> we together a bunch of times. This is your I first skipped time the line? Meeting him. What line? Oh, he's always like this. I didn't mean Foul to. My bad. And hard nose. Never heard a kind word out of this guy the whole time I've known him. Uh, and he wonders why he can't get a girlfriend despite being a girlfriend. What, pushing 40. Embarrassing. Something. Anyway, point is a lot older than when he first got rejected by the girl he was into. <laughs> I bet it's some um, Gemma. Gemma. Shut up and get out of my face. Another word out of you, and you can forget about doing business with me ever again. Do I make myself clear? Whoa. No need to make threats, buddy. <laughs> uh, sorry, I may have had a little too much to drink. Oh my god, there's a sticker on the back of this. Uh, I'm, I'm what? Don't work too hard. <laughs> what? I had no idea. That's crazy. I think it's high time I, I made a said move single. as well. Bozo. You really want to investigate this, Linny? Be my guest. Guys, it's Koya. I also have Koya on my wrist. I also but have Koya on my mic. Good comes of it. Don't I say I didn't <laughs> warn you. Well, that Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> in a rather spectacular fashion. Any thoughts? Just a little bit of an odd feller. A strange man. Compensating you for your losses. Why would someone you just met make an offer like that? He's got to be hiding something, and not like Gemma. She was a little suspicious, but this guy definitely I bet. Something up. Oh, I, I bet. So What's his face? Confessed his love to Gemma, and that's why she was being suspicious when she was like, "Oh, no one got into falling out." But I bet, I bet she wasn't. She was lying by omission because no one got. They didn't get into it falling out. But he was like, I love you. And she was like, well, that's great. But I have my boyfriend or my fiance. And that's what happened, I bet. That guy at Mondo yep, seems to it. know a thing or two about him. He only just left. Let's see if we can catch up with him. How much money do I get if I'm right? Who wants to place a bet? Come on, do it now. Did I crack the code again? Someone pl place a bet. Place a bet. A million dollars. If I get it wrong, if I get it wrong, I have to quit Genshin. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Edmondo! Time to stitch on your friend. You little drunk bastard, you. Is bastard a band word? Is that a curse word? <laughs> oh, wow, he's dying. Poor Edmondo. You okay there? Uh, who are you? I'm really uncomfortable in my back. Oh, Good night, guys. You guys. Don't worry about me. I'm back. Head one too many. Uh, I just need to ride it out. <laughs> I say way too much back there, didn't I? Yeah, I nearly talked myself into complete financial ruin. <laughs> 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 Note to self: no more drunken chats when Lorenzo's around. <laughs> so so nuts. he was serious about threatening to cut you off. Ugh, I knew he was a bad egg. Hey, 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 hey! Just keep your voice down. Okay, sorry. Don't go prying into Lorenzo's personal affairs. <laughs> Bad things happen to people who ask too many questions. Or make an enemy out of them. What kind of bad things? Don't even ask. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to have to cut this conversation short. I'm not crossing that line again. Wow. Um, take it from me. Trouble with Lorenzo is one thing you don't need in your life. Some flare up back there. I don't know what you said to him, but... 
Clearly, it touched a nerve. Sorry. That's not a good sign. I was just asking you why he killed his friend. You're too young for this. So don't get in over your head. I don't get in over your head. Leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm gonna start doing that now. That's how I'm ending stream from now on. I'm what do we do now, leaving. Shh. I think we're being watched. Someone was listening into our whole Check conversation. My phone? Don't say anything and don't look back. Any altercation in the city will attract the guards. We better take this elsewhere. You followed us a long way. Why don't you come out and introduce yourselves? Oh, never mind. We found him. Whoa! So you're Linny. Got the FBI Linny's on our ass. Sister. Smooth and face, Pacino. Save us the trouble and go fetch her for us. Let's not drag this out. Why is he Italian? Why is he Italian? <laughs> oh my God! Why is he Italian? That's crazy. Save your questions, Missy. You ain't gonna need answers where you're going. Capiche? <laughs> Not be De Niro is crazy. <sighs> Looks like we can't avoid this fight. What's the third one's name? Fucking Mario? No, like, I'm oh my god. The fighter, so I hope you're ready to back me up. That's nuts. I can't believe I have to beat up Smooth Face Pacino. That's crazy. Curses. They're tougher than we thought. Vision wielders are always trouble. Intimidation ain't gonna work <laughs> like it Why did do they have the Italian lane? accents? That's crazy. Come on, let's scram. Said, hey, yo, ah, let me, let me get a. Actually, Did that's you more New York. That's not Italian. They left? Something about I just assume all Italians are out. New Yorkers. Ew, wait, I forgot about New Jersey. Just it kidding. Like they just wanted to rough us up as a scare tactic, and they've already done it to someone else. But who? Gemma, she knows she's got hitmen. She was injured when we saw her yesterday. And she oh my god, they jumped her, so she didn't get eyes. jumped by a guy in a top hat, but instead she got jumped by an Italian. Maybe she was That's even worse. To tell us the truth because those guys had threatened her. Why is my auto keep turning off? Oops. Well, if that's the case, she should be more willing to open up to us once she learns that those thugs won't be bothering her anymore. No guarantee Let's on that, brother, cafe but and see if we can get any information from her. There. <laughs> They're just looking at each other. She could be her mom. They have the same hey. hair color. Gemma? Hey, love the awkward silence. You again. What is it this time? <laughs> we just ran into the men who've been threatening you, and we gave them a taste of their own medicine. So you can relax now. We're here to protect you. What? Why? I didn't tell you anything. Why oh, I mean, she's got something you? to tell. <laughs> Sounds like they're no strangers to you. Well, duh. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one of those hats in the background. That's putting it mildly. I know them all too well. And I hate them with every fiber what? of my I being. I really don't see it. I don't it's really think I look like her at all. Years. And still, every time I try to look into Caesar's death, they show up and warn me not to do anything stupid. How do I know I can trust you? Do you really think you can get to the bottom of it all? And why are you doing this? I'm afraid I can't reveal all the details just yet, but I can promise you this. I will expose the Phantom Weasel's true identity. Lynette looks so cute there. She looks so just sitting prim and proper. See, <laughs> this is a personal matter of the utmost importance. Yeah, they're about to fumble his bag if we don't catch this me. killer. Like, okay. it's kind of nuts. How can I help you? I've heard that Caesar used to have a magic workshop where he kept a lot of his personal effects. If possible, I'd like to take a look at them. Lenny's only in this so he can steal this guy's magic tricks, trust me. <laughs> Good night, Sam. Thanks for stopping by. And hi, TikTok. How are you? Do you know where it is? 
the Flu de Sandre. But the place was sealed up by the police after his death, and no one's been there since. What? I also know that the Flu de Sandre is dangerous territory, and lots of hostile groups lurking around. If you're serious about going there, please be careful. Okay. Oh, I turned off the auto. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Here and take care of Gemma. Don't let her come to harm. <sighs> Got it. But if I'm staying here, I'm ordering dessert. True. Treat I yourself, mean, girl. Bon appetit. But stay sharp too. They're likely to come for you while I'm away. Okay. All right. Power saving mode off. I'll start taking this more seriously now. <laughs> Power saving mode off. You get him, Lynette. With me here, nothing will happen. True! Go, boss. Okay, hold on. We're going to the workshop. How the hell am I meant to get over there? I feel like it's a little bit early to be doing the domain already. I guess we're almost done! This is exciting, though. A framed murder. We have like witness protection program. Like this is fun. Um. Oh. So this was Caesar's oh. workshop. I should not have jumped before that thing started moving. That was so scary. Nothing suspicious here. Just normal magic class. Let's head in further. Balloons. I love balloons. I wish balloons like. <laughs> what was that? Oh. oh. Is this one of Caesar's gadgets? Uh. Aww. We must have triggered some sort of device. Is there another one? Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my gosh. first last time too was i just did i do it too quick or something huh how strange this is a cool domain though it's very whimsical i mean i guess that makes sense for a magician but still look at the mini chest cute um you can keep it for like five more months is there some device in that box? I'm generous? Huh. It just looks familiar. Oh, thank somehow. you. Let me check this out for a second while you guys go on ahead. Huh? If anyone makes a major discovery, let's rendezvous here. The word rendezvous is All right. funny. See you in a bit. Makes me laugh. The placement of this device inside. Hmm. If I remember correctly. That is true. Everything- I am AR-60. Everything does make me laugh. I, oh, a little puzzle do we have to do now? Uh... Here we go. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to stay on them while they moved or not, so that made me a little nervous. But we did it! Miravon, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to stream. How are you? And Kate, thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome, guys. Oh, and Kate, thank you so much for the roses. Very sweet. Yeah, I was gonna say Darcy always posts a very extensive summary about the live streams. Wow. There's a hidden room here. She takes very good care of that, Let's so anything see. you've missed from the live stream, oh, Darcy will have posted. Look at this room. Much so cool. I wish my office at work looked like this. 
I wouldn't get anything done, but I'd feel like an evil villain, you know, like, ooh. Imagine having just like a massive, like, clock. It feels like he's in a clock tower, but then with pink balloons. <laughs> That's my aesthetic. This thick as a brick. Let's take Ow. a peek inside it, shall we? What? Issues? At one of my shows a few days issues. ago, a child asked That's me how it. I pulled candy out of my hat. As a huh? joke, I told the kid that the hat has a built-in wish-granting machine. Next thing I know, today a whole bunch of kids were pestering me to pull all sorts of things out of the hat. Well. So I told them another white lie. The machine needs time to power up, but in the meantime, you can write your wishes down. Well, they took me up on that offer. Enthusiastically. As I write this, I've only just got back from running around all over town, buying the things they wanted. Boy, are my legs sore. See, like, he doesn't seem like a villain. I wound up saving very little this month, but that's not a major issue. I now have a bigger problem. How am I going to hide all these things inside my hat? <laughs> that's funny. Two children came to talk to me after today's show. I don't know why do you they mean, were out Darcy? on their own. Deck of voice. They looked much too young to be unsupervised. I do hope they got home safely. Anyway, they said that they wanted me to teach them how to do magic. It's not uncommon for children to ask this, of course, but I've never seen any of them as serious. Is he talking about Lenny and Lynette? I told them that learning magic is very hard work, but that didn't faze them at all. It's like they already knew. They seemed so committed. I couldn't turn them down. That's so cute. Aww. It seems like something's bothering Lorenzo lately, but he won't open up to me about it. Surely he's not upset that I agreed to teach those two children. I'll have to talk him around. <gasps> Oh, I know what happened. I bet Linny set out the fake calling card to himself to draw out the killer. Yup. That's what happened. I'm calling it right now. I have a good feeling about those kids. I know it talented. in my heart. That's it what happened. Like they're not Cause he wants to know what happened. Magic. They have all sorts of fantastic ideas. All I'm really doing is helping them develop a more professional standard training plan. They wanted to call me master, but I told them they absolutely mustn't. Any magician worth their salt could have taught them what I have. They're the geniuses here. That's what I think Compared happened. To them, I don't deserve to be called any sort of master. With time, I have no doubt that they could become far greater magicians than I. My only concern is why they're so mature for their age. I fear they've had to grow up too fast. I don't dare to imagine what they must have been through. Never calm down. And never give Jenna up. I think so too. She doesn't like being around them. Says that their eyes are too piercing. They don't bother me. But then again, I've never been the sharpest tool in the shed. Piercing eyes? Weren't we talking about how scary their eyes were? <laughs> it's nearly time for me to go on tour. I asked the two kids if they'd like to come with me, but they shook their heads. I once overheard them talking about their father and their mission. Sounds like their parents have other plans for them. I guess we'll be parting ways soon. It's One only been pillow. ten days since I first met them, is. but I think that I've gotten a feel for their personalities now. They're very tough. But also very cautious. And they trust no one but each other. This, I fear, is not a good habit to have. They hide things from me too. For example, when I asked them where they lived and why they wanted to learn magic, they lied. Uh-oh. That's the thing about children. Whenever they're trying to cover something up, it always shows somehow. Hey, how are you? I can sense that their lives have been hard. Possibly even dangerous, too. They're not 
not like other children. It's a shame that I can't do more to help them. After thinking things over, I decided to tell them a bit about how I see the world. It's full of lies and falsehoods, and that is why we must find our own truth. P.S. I hope they won't find my nagging annoying. Children are so opinionated nowadays. Will it do them more harm than good for someone they've only known ten days to lecture them like that? Thank you for the roses, he. P.P.S. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Children aren't interested in grand philosophies. It probably just went in one ear and out the other. I bet they've already forgotten every word I said. See, didn't he oh, literally Caesar, say that to that kid? Caesar. Just mind your own business next time. Linny said Linny said that to that kid, right? He was saying like, oh, when they lie, it always comes out. <laughs> and this guy's like, oh, they probably already forgot about it. Meanwhile, this kid's still reciting it to the day. So this was his math. Wait. So was then Caesar the guy that, oh, no, they had already met father at this point. So Lynette had already been, they already killed that guy. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. I was confused by the timeline for a second. I remember Magic it now. geniuses with a father and a mission, huh? Who does that sound like? It sounds a lot like he was writing about Linny and Lynette, don't you think? Yes, sir. <gasps> so did they meet Caesar when they were kids? Let's go ask Linny. Linny. Shh, hold that thought. Oh. As I expected, there's a lot of fishy things going he on in this place. He shushed her. He said, shh. That's crazy. Fishy? Uh-oh, what have you found? All in good time. Before we go over our new leads, I want to tell you how a high-altitude escape is performed. Oh. First, the magician slots themselves into a magic box in full view of the audience. The box is then suspended high in the air, and a short while later, the base automatically opens. At this point, a dummy will fall out of the box. I'm gonna fall out of the box? To grab the audience's attention, Get it? and they start wailing and screaming. I'm a dummy. Ha ha ha. Meanwhile, yeah, real funny. the real magician, who has by now blended into the crowd, waits for a good moment to make their appearance and put on a hysterical performance. Oh no! Is that me? Did I just fall to my death? Very vivid description. Paimon can really picture it. And then what? The audience's gaze then turns to the magician. And by the time they realize what's happened, the dummy has vanished. As if everything that just happened was some sort of shared illusion. Of course, that's just how I think the process should work, theoretically speaking. The inventor of this trick never performed it successfully. When the box opened, Caesar was the one who That's how he died? That's nuts. That's crazy, actually. He fell right to the ground from the highest point of the opera house. No one could hope to survive that fall. Not without a vision, at least. <laughs> That's not funny. And no one else has ever attempted this trick since. My understanding of how it works is just based on what it could gather from his notes and the relevant gadgets here in his workshop. So Caesar's famous high-altitude escape has never been done, huh? Paimon was about to say how cool it would have been to see it in person, but if it's that dangerous, it's probably for the best that no one else tries to do it. Lenny's gonna try and do it, I bet. Wait a like second. An idiot. So if a dummy's supposed to drop out of the box, then where does the real magician go? How does he get out? Glad you asked. That brings us to the secret of said box. This box right here is the one that Caesar constructed himself to use in the performance. And it's not oh, as simple me. as it looks. Inside, there's a device that only the magician himself would know about. Once the magician's inside and the box is lifted up into the air, the audience's view of the box is fixed at a certain angle. 
From where they're standing, they have a clear view of the front, sides, and bottom, but the back and the top are now no longer visible. At this point, the magician presses a button inside the box, opening a secret door out of view. He then escapes through this trap door onto the opera house roof, waits for the dummy the to roof. fall and distract the audience, and quietly returns to ground level. That's way simpler <sighs> than Paimon imagined. Even Paimon could probably do it. Um, okay. <laughs> well, there's a little more to it than that, of course. The hardest part of this trick is controlling the audience's mood and reactions. That takes an exceptional degree of showmanship. There's the falling dummy, the miraculous reappearance, the pompous performing. Maybe the magician would even have themselves tied up before it begins to strengthen the impression that there's no escape. Many days and nights of careful research and painstaking practice would have gone into this, all culminating in a performance just a few minutes long. It's one that still manages to transform the shock and grief of a tragic accident to the joy and laughter of a mesmerizing magic trick. Bro is passionate. Caesar was a highly accomplished magician. But unfortunately, even he didn't manage to pull it off. So, how did it go so wrong? You said you found some fishy stuff here. Have you figured out what really happened? I can make a pretty good guess. I looked into the case files. The magic box Caesar was using at the time of his death had the secret button I mentioned positioned on the right-hand side. And, sure enough, he always used his right hand as his dominant hand in public. Okay. Nothing suspicious there. In public? But here's the strange thing. Most of the devices in this workshop have the mechanism yeah, on the left hand side, hard. including this box right here. Which leads me to believe that Caesar was in fact left-handed. It's a crazy thing to pretend about being left-handed. Because a magician can't afford to have their most basic habits stand out too much. People naturally focus their attention on the most important details of the task or situation at hand. But a magician needs to be able to redirect an audience's attention at will, so as to avoid arousing their suspicion. The essence of magic is getting people to believe a lie. If even the truth raises eyebrows, the falsehoods become all the more difficult to mask. Huh. And so, Caesar trained himself to use his right hand to align with his audience's expectations. Excuse me. Great magic always requires sacrifices. Oh, that's a little crazy. Yeah, no, this this so far this story quest has been very interesting. I'm liking it a lot. I, I know I'm yawning, I'm sorry. It's just from like a general lack of sleep, not because I'm bored. Um, <laughs> but, um, hi, Erica. Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry that took me so long. I was just waiting for Lenny to end his speech. But thank you for the follow. I hope you're doing well. And, yeah, I don't think Paimon's like origin origin is confirmed at all yet. Everything out now is just theories and theories. So, but, you know, one day. I wonder if it'll just be like, um, I wonder if it'll be like, uh, you know, in pers and they won't play Persona 5. Morgana. Oh, well, if you didn't play Persona 5, that would be a massive spoiler. Um, so maybe I shouldn't make this comparison. But if, okay, so if you have played Persona, I think Paimon's just going to be like what Morgana is to Joker. I'm not saying, I'm not going to say what, don't worry. I'm not going to say what. So that's it. Nothing crazy, in my opinion. That's my theory. But in his most stressful and nerve-wracking moments, and when no one was watching, Reflex would kick in and he'd use his left hand. That's why he set his gadgets with the mechanism on his left. <laughs> Maybe exactly. he encountered a nun with a I ruler. You know, they'd smack happened. you. Not when I went to high school, when my mom did. They would smack your hands if you were left-handed, so you would write with your right hand. Caesar would have been under a lot of time pressure Nuts. during the escape. He'd have had mere seconds to open the hidden compartment, retrieve the dummy, then open the secret door and make a swift escape. But I'm sure he was confident. He would have rehearsed countless times to Someone the point where it was second obviously. nature. He'd barely need to think about what he was doing because muscle memory would guide him through. So he opened the compartment, took out the dummy, checked everything was in order, and then went to leave. With his left hand, he reached for the button, and suddenly 
His heart Boom. skipped a beat. It wasn't there. How does Much he know like when you reach for your keys but find your pocket empty, his mind needed a moment to process what was going on. I mean, when I lost my phone in Uber. <laughs> his left hand would keep feeling around for the missing button, maybe for another second or two, until the bottom of the box gave way. With the stakes being as high as they were, just a two-second delay cost him everything. The authorities would find nothing suspicious and conclude that his death was due to his own error. Hmm. And in reality, someone switched the boxes and they did it to murder him. But Ooh. how would they be able to make the switch without being noticed? That would be difficult to pull off, no? Not if you're their apprentice. It would have to have been someone who knew that he was left-handed and who could move his props around without arousing suspicion. Someone who was always by his side. I mean, I Isn't wonder who. Right? Lorenzo. What? You just couldn't let sleeping dogs lie. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna have a gun in his hand. A lot of people who'd go to all this trouble for some magician who died ten years ago. No, Lenny didn't do it. <laughs> didn't have to do this, you know. <laughs> Lenny didn't do it, no. The hard way just creates more problems for me to deal with. <laughs> that made but me I laugh, gave sorry. You your chance. I hoped you'd do what's good for you and back off like the lady, but you disappoint me. You mean Gemma? So you are the one who's been threatening her! Yes, although however stubborn she might be, she was never much of a liability. But you people... You, you people! You even knew him, but for some reason you just wouldn't drop it. First of all... If I got murdered by someone and they're wearing a top hat... We're done. We're done. Don't even prosecute them, because that's on me. That's on me. If I got murdered by someone on a top hat, that's my fault. So you know what? Don't even... Don't seek out revenge or nothing. That's on me. So you just let them be. Which is why you can't leave this place alive. Take them out and make it Oh my quick. god, not the mafia! It's the mafia! <laughs> Do your worst! Hey! I'm sleuthing here. Hold on. Hold on, I said. So I didn't... Oh. If I ever get taken out with the card, it's game over for me. Oh, you kids are tougher than you look. Kids? I'm grown. What do you mean? Had enough yet, Lorenzo? Your cronies can't help you now. Damn. I think it's high time you started talking. <sighs> and what I'd really like to know is, why did you murder Caesar? Well, if I had a Salad. moment for every time you said that man's name. Now, of course you idolized Caesar. Everyone else did. But I was the real genius magician. Me. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sick of myself. I feel out of me. Hatred. Anyone, like. anyone else. Chelsea, All he cared about yeah, yeah, was his yeah, magic. Yeah, 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 he lived and breathed it. I don't remember how it goes. Da -da 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 -da. Evan, thank you for the follow. He poured everything into his street performances and his stupid tours like it was just a hobby to him. Never bothering to think about Mora. What sort of fool devotes their life to the art of deception and never has a Mora to show for it? But the people loved him, didn't they? Oh, how they looked up to him. Look at him rocking. He's just look. rocking back and forth while he's seething with jealousy. That's was, so lame. Oh, That's so embarrassing. Amazing, isn't he? <laughs> I'd be so embarrassed. Amazing. Yeah, so amazing that he was completely broke. Every other apprentice was living it up at their master's expense, but no, not me. I put in all the work, mastered all the skills, and it brought me nothing more than the life I already had. Yeah, chill. Like, why don't you just leave? Like, people are so dramatic. Have you? Do you think you could ever get mad enough to like kill someone? Like, obviously, I know this is a fictional story, but like, oh, he wasn't utilizing his skills. He made me so mad. Walk out the door. Like, it's, that's crazy. Like. That's crazy. <laughs> like you, could, I would just be like, "Damn, that sucks." 
<laughs> like, I, okay. He forbade me from using magic to trick people out of their mora. There was nothing he hated more than that. And with his reputation in Fontaine, it was too risky for me to go it alone. There's like so many other countries if it made you that mad. Alive, if like, I dabbled in my own brand of money magic, it would expose me and it would destroy <laughs> me. I had to kill him. There was no other way. He had to go. Like, walk out the door, dog. Like, it's not that serious. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and this was your only motive? He wanted his wife. Enough. What other motive would I need? You were jealous. Well, you, ooh, you liked the her. That there might have been other factors at play. For ooh, instance, you had a crush. Maybe you were a in crunch? love with Gemma, but <laughs> she was engaged to Caesar. In love with Gemma? D don't be ridiculous. Guess I was wrong about that then. <laughs> Next question: Are you the Phantom Weasel? I am. Why is he being honest Caesar now? Caesar was so strict with me. He insisted that his way was the right way. That the sole purpose oh, of magic Sorry, was guys. To bring I, don't, I hope that in her ears. I just world. punched my mic. Sorry. I never bought into any of that. I was more interested in the so practical so value of magic. Sure enough, it helped me fill my pockets with all kinds hey, of valuable treasures. Hey guys, I have a question. This is for the TikTok live friends. I'm sorry to distract. When y'all have the little arrow, see you, someone just had one with a 13. What does that mean? Certain people have little arrows by their thingies. Or like, Walter, you had the number six by yours. What does that mean? He has a level for, d oh. I don't know why I thought it was like months followed or something. That's my bad. I was being stupid. <laughs> I was like, I didn't get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes way more sense. That's my bad though. Sorry. Anyways. Oh, yeah. No, his voice is nice. He has a nice deep voice. Deep voices are very like satisfying. You're like scratching itch in your head. From the outside. Wow, Walter, you're so what dedicated. What thief want with second-rate loot? I've only ever targeted high-value items. Okay. I stole cheap things as a way of practicing my craft. It was other people's overactive imaginations that conjured up the preposterous image they then dubbed the Phantom Weasel. Can I be what? So, that's the story, huh? Well, I hope you're ready to tell it all over again during your trial. That's nuts. Don't say that to people. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> what choice do I have? You're a pack of wolves and you've got me between hide. your jaws. You've seen what's here and my last ditch effort to stop it getting out has failed. <laughs> what else can I do? So be it. I've enjoyed power and wealth for the last ten years. The likes of which Caesar could never give me. I wouldn't choose for things to end this way. That's but I regret nuts. nothing. Very Ooh. well. He regrets In nothing. that case, I'll contact the guards. Traveler, Paimon. Keep an eye on Lorenzo for me. I'll meet you just outside the workshop when I'm back. He is quite the drama queen. A chest! Oh my god, can we just shoot him? No <laughs> disappear! Also, guys, I don't know if you noticed this. I know this isn't stupid, but like, or, I mean, I don't know if this is stupid, but look, look at his um his charge attack. There's like little cats like shooting out of it. How cute! Is that so cute? Little kitties. Look, I never noticed that. Yeah, he's a cute little feller. Just, just a little guy. It's. This is the closest I can get to teabagging on him, so. All right, how do I get out? Hello? What do I? Oh, okay, my fault. That's my fault. Third. At least I can finally st I got that chest, right? Yeah. Remember when I, remember when I did the chest? Wait. Do you guys remember this was ages ago? But do you remember when I did the quest 
it was it was an Inazuma domain, and we were talking for some reason for so long. I never claimed the chest, and then I got kicked out of the domain because like the eight minute timer they give you dimed out, and then <laughs> I had to redo the entire thing. <laughs> you remember that? Oh, it's too good. Really the cops. Told me the whole story. Lorenzo, do you confess to the well, murder of Caesar that's freaking crazy, and to the framing him for the Phantom Weasel's crimes? Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Look who's finally developed a conscience. Lori, what guys, that's me. Disciple murders so close. Master. I hope it was worth it. Because there'll be hell to pay. <sighs> Looks like it's all over. What should we do next, Lenny? Should we start preparing for your show? Huh, let me think. Let's rendezvous with Lynette and Gemma first. With Lorenzo in custody, Gemma will no longer have to fear for her safety. It's okay. Nouvellette, but we should it's... go tell Gemma the good news right away. <laughs> It'll give her some peace of mind for sure. The character's name is Nouvellette, but we say we just spell it Nutella because I'm I'll be damned before I'm typing that name with all, with all them vowels. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Not not me. I don't know about yourselves, but I'm not doing all that. Shouldn't Lynette be on stage, little girl? Is Nouvellet here? Ooh, magic show! Woohoo! I was excited to see another of Lenny's magic shows! Uh, wait. Round of applause, guys. Lene, we did it. Shouldn't you be on stage by now? That's literally what I said, Paimon. Not this time. My oh. brother's going solo today. So, I'll be watching with you. Good Mind. evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope everybody's ready because the show is about to begin. The great magician Linny has prepared a spectacular show for us all tonight, concluding with an all-new grand finale that no audience has ever seen before. That's actually nuts if he does that new trick and it's like, ha, hey, skill is you. So much That's nuts. Coming. He better not. Now, prepare to join me on a journey through the mystical and miraculous. Exciting stuff, isn't it? Yes, it's just... It, it reminds me of him. No wonder. Caesar was a famous magician, too. So, how did you two first meet, Gemma? You pulled the dove out of my ass? Hmm? Like, <laughs> how, did, how does magician pick someone up, actually? That's a good question. And I saw him performing for little children. Children love magic. Because they're willing to believe in things that can't be rationally explained. Caesar had this amazing way of bringing them into a dreamlike world. I'm sorry. And somehow, I felt drawn to him too. So I'm sorry. I went up and asked him to do a trick for me. Aw, that sounds so romantic. What trick did he do? It was with a flower. Oh. He took it in his hand. Hey! His fingers and was Lenny hitting on me? Magically you perv. <laughs> I was so happy that day. No one had ever given me a flower before that. Oh, that's so cute! Uh, actually, now that you mention it, Lenny's done that one before. Is that right? Then I suppose he's a romantic at heart. Just Aww. like Caesar. Then he has a crush. So, treasure the time we have. <laughs> a crunch. He has a crunch on me. Are you? S I don't want to say that out loud because I feel like you're setting me up for a D's nuts joke. Either that or it's something, and I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation. You have a crunch on me. One of my best friends always says that. I don't know why she goes like, "Oh, he has a crunch," <laughs> like instead of a crush, and I think it's the funniest thing. Like a crunch? I don't know why. <laughs> it like kills me. After all, you never know when the people dearest to you might be gone. You're next, lady. I'm sorry. That's right. It's all over now. Um, Simon doesn't really know how to comfort you, but at the very least, no one's gonna be intimidating you from now on. You can Hey, I can be ask, intimidating. Right? right. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, you can breathe easy now, Phantom Weasel. What? See, even Lynette says, "Wait, what?" Oh, I was wrong. The Phantom Weasel, Lorenzo escaped. 
Man. What do you mean, Phantom Weasel? As Lenny once said, a performer's job is to commit fully to their role and put on a flawless performance for their audience. But once the bag of tricks is empty and the curtain falls, it's time to end the show. The I was wrong, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm no sorry. But their sleeve. It's been ten years, Gemma. Aren't you tired of the grieving widow act? What? Wait. I think it's time to put an end to it. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. I'm not I'm not laughing. Wh huh? It was her, but he the other guy confessed. Oh my god. Did they do it together? Was it a joint crime? Did he did she want to be with Lorenzo? Guys, I'm scared. That's crazy. That's crazy. What are you talking about? Uh, Paimon doesn't like this riddle. That's nuts. Traveler, Paimon doesn't like where this is going. Come on, say something. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're Wait! all enjoying the We're just going to move so on? Oh, my God. Get me out of here, y'all. I'm angry. Uh, there will now be a brief Robert Houdin. Houdini. Lenny will perform the most electrifying act of tonight's show. The one we've all been waiting for. The final performance will take place outside of the opera house. So please make your way outside in a calm and orderly fashion. <laughs> Are we going on a uh, road trip to the jail? Weasel never did like public places. Well, Charlotte's here. Well, she must be getting all this Don't tea. Worry. This place will be quiet soon. Let's talk somewhere else for now. What? That's actually really nuts, though. I I thought I was so smart. I really thought I figured that out. I'm I feel so stupid. That's crazy. Hi, Jan. What's up, guys? My friends here. No, I, the, like when I say like I was, I no, I was so confident. Are you kidding? I was convinced I had that. Man, now I just feel stupid. <laughs> Whoopsie. Dear me, this is awkward, isn't it? And unfortunately, I'm all out of gadgets, so I'm afraid I can't do any tricks to liven up the mood. Mm. This is a big mistake for a magician to make, but thankfully, I do have a backup plan. Now, who wants to hear a story? Me! Uh, Lenny, don't we have more important things to address right now? No, I'm what just confused. Gemma being the real phantom weasel a moment ago? Oh, what the heck's going on? Me too, I love Lenny a lot. All in good time. Magicians are good at guessing what people are thinking. I know the questions you want to ask. And as it happens, the story I'm about to tell might answer a few of them. Really? Well then, let's hear it! I'm not dying of curiosity here! Same girl. Let's go back to the very beginning. A decade ago, when the Phantom Weasel was terrorizing the Court of Fontaine, she never missed a target, she never left a trace, and no treasure was safe from her thieving hands. But as her infamy grew, so did the readiness of the police, and her opportunities to act became ever fewer. Every day so she, she went, ran the I'm risk so of being confused. exposed for who she was. Of course, she could not simply take this lying down, and before long she found her ticket to freedom. She would create a scapegoat. A false weasel to close the chapter on her behalf. After weighing her options, she set her sights on a renowned magician, Caesar. After all, magic and theft shared enough similarities for people to buy the story when the truth came out. So, so then what? Why did Lorenzo, was he an accomplice? Was, the weasel easily earned Caesar's trust. 
Now all that remained was to frame him for her countless crimes. But as she was considering how to make her move, she noticed Caesar's aggrieved pupil, and a new thought entered her mind. Maybe I don't need to get my hands dirty after all. Yes. After encouragement, Lorenzo tampered with Caesar's magic box, causing him to fall to his death. Afterwards, Lorenzo seized his master's property, and the weasel set about tarnishing Caesar's reputation. Two co-conspirators committed the perfect crime. That's insane. <laughs> I've got to hand it to you. You're both exceptional storytellers. It's enough to make even me wonder whether there was really another mastermind behind all this. Girl, Going you got extremes. caught. Don't, don't, let's but not. But I just have one question. You seem to think that I am the villain in this tale. What's brought this on, Linny? Is it something that Lorenzo said? Don't worry. Lorenzo said nothing at all. Audrey! But I never believed that he was the weasel. And in fact, my I can investigation explain. only made me more certain of that. <laughs> I can he was explain. too forthcoming with his confession. As if there was something else he was trying to hide. I'm getting a new bed tomorrow. So I had to take all the sheets off because it's getting off as soon as the morning. So all the sheets are literally sat up top. No, don't yell at me. I'm not sleeping on it. Or maybe I am, but that's not the point. I took everything off. They're all sitting on top. Like that's like my comforter, my pillow. Everything's on the top because I have to throw the mattress out to the curb. That's why I promise. Like the the mat the the the, the, uh, the mattress skirt and everything, the bed skirt, like all of it's off. Everything's off. I promise I don't just have like a naked mattress in my I'm getting a new bed and everything. Hey Janny. Don't call me mommy. <laughs> Go to bed. I will soon. I'm almost done. But I and then I have to wake up early. Because I'm gonna do another stream like a nut job. But it'll be fun. Woo, Gooby. Hello and welcome. It's very lovely to meet you too. I do nine to twelve, roughly. How disappointing. So you'd sooner trust Lorenzo than me? Even without a shred of evidence? Yep. <laughs> Vibes. A magician is an expert at playing the audience to get the result they want. And I have no doubt that you, Gemma, are equally talented in this regard. I will leave my bed With alone. A little help from Lorenzo. I promise. You put on a very be fixed by next stream, I think. The lovesick fiance, whose devotion to her betrothed is unshakable, even under threats of violence. Caesar was maligned and hated by all for ten years. All right. But you. If so everyone sympathized with your plight. I don't know what's in the air tonight, but y'all are making comments and we need to chill. New trends, thank you for the follow. I'm Hold on. Uh, give me two seconds, I'm sorry. Okay. Who would suspect for one second that the lovely young lady always seen weeping in front of Caesar's grave was actually the mastermind behind his demise? No, not that poor lady. Uh, perish the thought. Uh, Aubrey. Oh, Audrey, I'm sorry. Tuesday, come back. I'll be streaming on Saturday, but I might not have the right mattress on my bed. Or Sunday, I mean, I'll be streaming again. But on Tuesday, it will be completely done. That's a promise. I, my, like, integrity's on the line, I promise. Also, ellipses, dot, dot, dot. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. And there was something else I was going to say. P Pinky promise. Tuesday, it's fixed. Sunday, I can't promise, but Tuesday, I can. The Perilous Trail. Is that Sumeru? I don't even know what that is. So you mean the whole intimidation thing was just a hoax? Gemma and Lorenzo were both in on it? That's nuts. But why would Lorenzo agree to that? And why didn't we sell her out even at the end instead of admitting to being the weasel himself? Because he has a crunch on her. Yes, why indeed. Hmm. 
Maybe Gemma herself could enlighten us on that question. Well, Linny, if you are so confident in your version of events, then I think the answer should be obvious. Having killed Caesar with his own hands, Lorenzo was plagued by overwhelming guilt. Revealing the Phantom Weasel's true identity would serve no purpose. But if the Weasel remained free, then she could take care of Lorenzo's loved ones. An excellent answer. Though sadly, a little dull. Is that right? Well, don't let me bore you. If you'd care to change the topic to something more interesting, I'd be much obliged. Well, oh, that was my favorite Archon fact, Quest. There's one thing I'd really the like to Chasm understand. one? That was my favorite Archon Why Quest to this day. Why would the real Weasel have targeted things that only have value to other people? Could you shed any light on that? Is she like a sentimental thief? <laughs> of course. After all, we're just telling stories here, aren't we? If I had to guess, I would say that the real Weasel must have had a terrible childhood. Oh, it always starts with the childhood. Left to fend for herself after her parents died young. Oh. Betrayed. Scorned. Beaten. Oh, She'd scrounge yikes. waste paper from garbage bins to draw on. Using twigs and dirt for lack of ink and pen. She'd sew ugly rag dolls from whatever scrap material she could get her hands on. This was her only source of happiness in life. But it was all she needed. So she stole she things that made other people happy? That's so lame. I'm sorry. This was too good for her. Oh my god. Once again, she was betrayed. And this time, everything was taken from her. She felt like life was a miry pit that dragged her further down the more she struggled to escape. At that tender age, she should have been happy. Instead, she stood in the shadows and watched with envy as all good things in the world passed her by. That's this crazy. Was a fate too cruel for anyone to bear. Her pain became a breeding ground for dark thoughts. Thoughts which festered and grew into a twisted solution to her troubles. Sorry, I giggled. I detest the happiness of others. In all its forms alike, I will rob TikTok them of lie. everything they hold to be good and true. And it will fill the void in my soul. That's some pretty heavy stuff. Damn. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Does this story satisfy you, Linny? Yes, it is quite to my tastes. Thank you for helping to clear up my confusion. Yeah, that's why I don't get why she would send herself a warning letter. Like, what are you going to steal? Are you going to steal Lynette? Like, what? That's right. What drove you to write that letter, Gemma? What were you trying to achieve there? Because without that, none of this would have ever come to life. Yeah, like, I don't get it. That's what I don't she get. She didn't write the letter. Oh! After ten long years, I'd hoped that the Phantom Weasel would be consigned to the history books by now. But it seems like someone still wasn't ready to let her finally be at peace. <laughs> Linny. Or should I call you the Phantom Pocket? I was right! I was right. I was right. I was right. I was right. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. I was right. By the way, I was right. Don't mind if I was just correct. Don't mind if I was just intelligent and nancy drew and the entire mystery gang driving the motherfucking mystery machine because i was right loaded up on scooby snacks bitch i knew it i knew it because that's something he would do because he's so messy and he of course he would want to know because that was his master who taught him and his sister magic so of course he would want to know because of course he would use his own thing as a prop i knew it i knew it and you guys doubted me. You doubted my intelligence. My deduction skills. How dare? Because I was right. Never doubt me again. That's that's what that's what we learned from this quest. Never doubt Tori ever again. She's always right. Very sharp, Phantom Weasel. Still as shrewd as ever. You hear that guys? I'm very sharp and shrewd, although I don't like that word shrewd. <laughs> well, no need for me to be coy about it. Our goal was to clear Caesar's name. Okay. The most straightforward way to change the public's impression. Forgot I had another Caesar coffee, guys. This is great. What a great day. To show themselves. Uh, Never doubt me. That's it. You had no other agenda. 
Yup. Of course we did. We made it quite clear in the letter, I believe. I shall take from you that which you hold most dear, just as you did to me ten years ago. Uh, ten years ago? You mean Caesar's death? You, you met him? Uh, wait. Oh, I get it. You were those two obnoxious kids. <laughs> obnoxious is crazy. It's been so long, and you're all grown up now. I didn't recognize you. He taught you magic back then, didn't he? For what, ten days or something? <laughs> and you went to all this trouble. Why? Because you feel like you still owe him something? We remember all our debts, however great or small. Ten years ago, Caesar's reputation was torn to shreds and his legacy was thrown out. Ten years on, and no one cares what the truth is anymore. I love Lenny. He's so petty. Like, and I love but that. We did not forget, and so we came to find you. Like, he's so real for and that. What exactly did you take from me? I'm still standing, as you can see. Lorenzo has admitted to everything. I'm free. Um. Free. What? <laughs> Do you really think so? Caesar once told me that even though the world is filled with lies and falsehoods, we must find our own. Does anyone truth. have like a tape recorder? We could have been like recording this entire. To too. Truth can take many forms: prized possessions with nostalgic value, fervent hopes and dreams, and irreplaceable people. When they go low, Life took I go lower. Exactly. Those wounds never healed. When they ached unbearably in the dead of night, stealing became your way of numbing the pain. That's what are you trying to say? I can't steal. For the Loser. last ten years, you've been living a rather uneventful life. Perhaps that's because you found something other than a life of crime to fill the hole. Back to Lorenzo for a second. He murdered his own master, played along with your act, and took pains to make sure any suspicion would be directed towards him. But what did he have to gain from all that? He's a sim! He knew who you were and the things you'd done, and despite that, he was willing to give everything up for your sake. He's the reason- But now she's really a widow. Twice! That's crazy. You're more than just accomplices in murder. You're the only real friends each other has. So I think you know, deep down, that he is the only truth you have in your life. But that truth is gone now. Whoa. And I guarantee you, you'll never see it again. Whoa. <laughs> oh, she rips out the tears one more time and calling the cops. Congratulations on your freedom, Gemma. Your freedom will cost you dearly. From now on, You'll be all alone in a world full of lies and falsehoods. I do hope you'll be able to bear it. You've still got a long life ahead of you, after all. Gather round, one and all. The time has now come for the amazing Linny to perform his final act in tonight's show. I'm sure you're all wondering what he has planned for the grand finale. Well, wonder no more, for the answer is... A death-defying high-altitude escape. Darcy, that's nuts. You're nuts for saying that. That's crazy. I'm sure you all remember the magician Caesar. This was the very trick that led to his fatal fall, after which he was dubbed the Phantom Weasel. But we have now learned that Caesar was wrongly accused, and that the real weasel has now confessed to their crime. I guess that's my cue to leave. Whew. I've been practicing this one for ages now, but I'm still a little nervous. Traveler, Paimon, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I'm excited! There may Woo. be a lot of people watching tonight, but you alone are my true witnesses. Okay. Guys, I think he has a crunch on me. I'm serious. No offense. Hey, oh, he's big mad. From Caesar. He went to his grave without ever knowing your secrets. So what about now? 
Are you an open book? I mean, I didn't kill him, so I don't think you should be questioning ever. me, but that's all right. You have sure. to tell lies to end up isolated and alone. One day, you'll end up exactly where I am today. Maybe then you'll finally understand. No. You're wrong. I'm nothing like you. <laughs> Rude. So, uh, what are we uh, doing now? I'm gonna watch Lenny try and kill himself or something. When you're ready, let's head outside and watch the show. Oh, it's outside? I what thought. She'll figure out what's best for her soon enough. Oh, and if you'd like to see Lenny after the show, you know where he'll be. The usual haunt. Where's the usual oh, haunt? Right. Cafe? Like I don't, I don't know him like that. I'm all out of beverages, stink. I'm sorry. Cut scene. Cut scene. Cut scene. Get shit on, loser, loser. Sometimes I think I'm like a gambling addict. She plays Genshin. Lynette, you slayed. I love how petty you and your brother are. You're my hero. Magicians are not like thieves. No, you're thieves right. only tear things apart. But good-hearted magicians, they put things back together. True. Very true. How do I get out of here? Help! Um. This is a good quest. I really like this one. Fontaine's starting off strong as all hell. Whoa! They chose a high. Damn. Wow. Magic should be mysterious, surprising, <gasps> Pity. and defy logic. Magic is hard work. Every single movement oh, baby has to be thousands of times. It's <gasps> really used to that. Baby Lynette! She's so cute! <laughs> Oh my god. We're sorry. Stop. You've taught us so much, but we can't tell you the whole truth. <sighs> it's okay. Uh, Do you still remember what I told you? Uh, this world is full of lies and falsehoods. I only hope that one day you can find your own truth. Uh, that is so you? cute. They're so sweet. Magic is my truth. Nerd. Oh. I want Sorry. to perform a magic trick so great that people will always think of me when they talk about it. For I'm... a magician, what greater honor could there be? Look! Behold! Linny is sealed inside the box. Will he manage to escape? I didn't mean to say that. That was Ten my bad. Ten years ago, Caesar attempted this very trick, and it was at this precise moment that... The whole box falls. That'd be. <gasps> I was kidding. <laughs> Watch out! Okay. Mysterious. Surprising. Oh, this is so beautiful. And logic defying. Isn't that right? That is stunning. <gasps> Caesar. I'm just sorry it's a little late. That was stunning. Did you see that? One minute he was falling, and the next, he turned into flowers. How could he possibly have done that? How mysterious. He's too good. I didn't blink once. He just vanished right in front of my eyes. What a heart-stopping magic show. I forgot Charlotte's here. It's really worth the trip. Caesar's name has finally been cleared, and Fontaine's new star magician, Linny, has fulfilled a wish on his behalf. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better grand finale. It will make a great headline for the Steambird tomorrow, even if Very I do good. it myself. Oh. Looks like everyone really loves Linny's grand finale. Yeah, I was gonna say they don't know all the tea, but that's fine. 
Also, hi, Anime Horizon, how are you? Uh, Luke, thank you for the follow. Question mark, thank you for the follow. And Chess, thank you for the follow. Hey, leave Charlotte alone. That's my girl. She's a cutie patootie, and she looks like, um... What's his name? That Bonnie? I don't know who that is. Fu Xuan? Who is that? I don't play that game. Oh, you mean the one where Caesar's buried? <laughs> I'm assuming yeah, it's Star Rail, right? This whole magic show kind of seems like Lenny's way of saying goodbye to Caesar. So I don't really want to watch it. I don't even know who that is. All right, let's go look for him there. Oh, she? <laughs> Hi, DJ. No, literally, it scared me so bad. Like, I was... Oh, I just broke my nail. Okay, great. Um, No, yeah, that was... I was kidding. And then it snapped. I, I thought I actually just killed Lenny there, guys. But at least... You know what I was, guys? I was right. And at the end of the day, you guys can't take that away from me. I was right. Oh, the music stopped. I'm almost scared to death when the <laughs> Girl, me too. <laughs> I'm always sure something had gone horribly wrong. Magic is a performance art. A magician has to get creative to keep the audience on tenterhooks. That's our job. So I tweaked Caesar's original setup a little to keep it fresh. I was honestly a little nervous during the live performance. The thought of falling, suddenly feeling weightless. Seeing the sky and the ground spinning and spinning. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder what Caesar thought in those final moments. That's Did really he awful. Taking Gemma and Lorenzo on? Or. Did he believe that it was his own slip up right until the end? Poor guy, he's just a good dude. I must have wanted to ask you about something ever since we were in Caesar's workshop. You learned magic from Caesar once, didn't you? When was that? After I joined the House of the Hearth. To be honest, Lynette and I had an agenda when we approached him. That's crazy. My favorite main? My favorite main is Xiao. I'm glad you're doing well, TJ. It's really good to hear from you. I've been doing well. Just work this I told summer. you about my past performance. Summer's over though, I'm sad. As a young boy, I survived by secretly learning magic from street performers. I'd watch their tricks and try to figure out how they were done. But I quickly realized that observation alone could only get me so far. What I saw was the polished final performance, but the rigorous training they put in behind the scenes remained Wait, invisible watch to me. We can watch it later. I needed to learn how to improve my sleight of hand, hone my misdirection skills, and make niftier props. We were gifted enough that we'd made some progress by ourselves. But without proper guidance from a professional magician, we quickly plateaued. So that's why you sought Caesar out? Yes. We figured there was no harm in asking, but it took us by surprise that he was so willing to teach us. In all, we this only spent good ten dude. short days together, but he was very good to us. By contrast, we hid so many things from him. For Aww, instance, I think he feels he guilty. Why Maybe that's why he wanted to avenge him, because he feels guilt for, like, I lying. Answered, or, I guess, lying by omission, really. But in truth, there was already a lot more to the story by then. After being taken in by an aristocrat for our magic talent, then betrayed soon after, this was no longer about me doing what I loved. What amazed me was how the lie escaped my lips even as I was hesitating over whether to tell him the truth. I think trust he really is oh. a beautiful oh. thing. Sadly, I'd forgotten how to trust by then. So I was gonna say I think he really appreciates like the reason he really wanted to like avenge him is because he appreciates that he liked him and his sister and was kind to them, even though he they like he knew they were lying. And like everyone was lying and betraying them. I don't know, that's really sweet. Good dude. Recipes, recipes, King Caesar. Lenny. Right? It's messed up. Still worried about the way I feel? <laughs> you really are a gentle soul, aren't you? Aww. 
Elemental soul. But don't worry, I'm used to it now. From the mansions of the elite to the house of the hearth, lies and selfishness have followed me and Lynette everywhere we go. After Caesar went on tour, we became busy with our missions. The next we heard of him was that he'd fallen to his death and was now declared to be the Phantom Weasel. I'm telling y'all, Lenny's a real one. Oh, Lacey, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. That night, I remembered his smile. But as I lay there, I didn't know what to say to him. Oh. Um. To keep secrets is to put up walls. The longer you keep them up, the less you let people in. Then one day, you look around and realize your life is like an empty auditorium after a show, full of seats once occupied by all the people who left. But I guess that's the price we have to pay. Yeah, it's a little, the mouth movements are a little bit rough in this quest, I've noticed. I feel like rougher than normal. You only realize how much someone rougher, really meant to rough? you when you lose them mm. completely. That's why I was so confident this would hurt Gemma. Because I felt it for myself. Well, Linny, I'm your biggest fan, so. Yeah, cheer up, Linny. We've had to say our fair share of goodbyes during our journey, too. But whatever happens, Paimon always believes in what tomorrow brings. Aww. Delicious food, fun toys, and the traveler by my side. Paimon just needs to focus on things like this and all the unhappy so stuff sweet. goes right out the window. Paimon loves us. Paimon's a good friend, even though she's really annoying. <laughs> um, you know, Traveler, doesn't that kind of make you Paimon's troop? Aww, she's so cute. <gasps> good night, Chan. Thanks for hanging out. Exactly. It's the same for me and Lynette. We are the truest thing each other has in the world, and nothing can replace that. Life has taken plenty from us like it did from Gemma. But at least it left us with each other. That's what gave us the strength to get through the darkest days. That's why the darkness never consumed me and why it never will. Maybe we live in the shadows too, but we remember every precious ray of light that shines through. That's so sweet. All right. Time to lighten this conversation up a little. What did you think of the show tonight? Were you happy with it? It was amazing! Paima just wishes we hadn't been so distracted with the Gemma situation. We spent most of our time in the Opera House just talking and pretty much missed the entire first half of the show. Um, Lenny, could you do just one more trick for us? Whoa, that's a bit of a tall order, I'm afraid. The show's just finished, so my sleeves are decidedly card-free right now. you can think of something. The Lenny Paimon knows can do anything if he puts his mind to it. Oh, all right then. I'll give it a go, but only because it's you. I love this quest. Oh, I'm so happy. I have a flower in my hand. You liar. There's nothing in your hand. We ain't going along with this. <laughs> huh? My goodness, you're right. But I could have sworn I brought one here with me. Hmm. Okay, try this. Count down with me. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now, have another look around. Maybe the flowers appeared somewhere else. Really? Let's see. He loves us. Wow, there it is! He does, he has a crunch, I'm telling you guys. That's his flower. But more importantly, Paimon has to know how the trick is done. Please, Lenny, please, please. <laughs> well, if you want to learn magic, you'll have to start by addressing me as teacher. Teacher. Oh, fine. Please, teacher, please. <sighs> Since you asked so nicely, I'll share one little tip with you. Namely, the student of magic cannot solely rely on others being prepared to reveal their secrets. You have to observe, think, and find the answers for yourself. Is that it? Ah, look at the time. We shouldn't linger here too long. Thanks again for coming to see my show. I bid you both 
Good night. Aww. I look forward to seeing you again. <sighs> All right, fine. See ya. Shall we head back down to you? <laughs> Paimon can't wait to read the steam bird tomorrow. Paimon bets Linny and Caesar will be blasted off. I love him. I love we'll Linny, guys. I'm such a big fan. Like, that was so sweet. He's so sweet. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. He's gonna get interviewed. Nice. Okay. No, that's what I'm saying. Thank God. Thank God I didn't do this quest when they were out. I would have wailed on the banner. I was right about the um, calling card. I just want to remind you all again. I was correct about I'm very sorry, Charlotte, but my sister and I are quite busy today. I'm afraid we'll have to decline this interview. <gasps> oh, Charlotte's gonna be mad. Please, please, only take a moment of your time, if you would be so kind. Huh? What's happening here? Charlotte's bag. Poor Charlotte. I spent all night writing my piece about the Phantom Weasel, and it was going to go to print this morning. But just as dawn broke, I suddenly received news that Caesar's fiance Gemma had contacted the girl. What? The she confessed. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That was quick. Yeah, damn, the guilt really ate her up real fast. Hmm? Too late, bro. <laughs> that was quick, you say. It sounds like I've got some catching up to do. Uh oh. Please fill me in. <laughs> Whoops. Aha! My instincts did not lead me astray. I'm telling you, journalists are professional gossips. And I love her for that. Good for her. Good for her. Maybe nope. watching my high altitude escape trick reminded her of a better time with Caesar, and she could no longer ignore the voice of her conscience. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, okay then. Wait, no, no, no. There must be more to it. If that's all it took for her to have a change of heart, how did it take her ten whole years? Um. Well. Whoopsie. Oh, I remember now. Oh my god, my crystal fly trap. <laughs> you can see it. Look. <laughs> Quick fire question. Where did you all go after the show? Oh, we went to the cemetery and Linny did a private magic trick just for us. Snitch? Actually, glad you mentioned it. Because that reminds time on guess what? Linny started using rainbow roses in his <gasps> Oh. <clears throat> Wait, she's going to tell us what it means? I don't recall ever having received a rainbow rose from you myself. Is that supposed to mean that they're more important to you than your own sister? I was going to look it up in the um no, I, I just, archive uh, what it meant, but hopefully Charlotte will tell us. What the? What now? Oh, did Paimon say something wrong again? <laughs> this is getting pretty awkward. What do we do, Traveler? <sighs> Run. Seems like this interview wasn't meant to be. Well, is no one going to tell us? There's always next time. Damn. Forgive my persistence, but when there's explosive news waiting to be found, I can't turn away. The news about Gemma has already made waves, and I'll stop at nothing to get to the bottom of it all. Apparently, one of the things she said to the guards was that her final wish is to see Lorenzo one last time. Ah, oh, there's clearly a web of complicated relationships. Drama. There. Can't blame me for being messy. Curious. People are messy. But all right, I guess I'll leave you to continue the rest of your conversation in peace. Bye for now. She's like definitely gonna still be in like the hedge right there, like just listening, like, all right, what are they? Paimon didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't angry. I was just trying to distract her. Oh, really? Oh, thank goodness. You scared Paimon there. Phew. You and me both, Paimon. You and me both. At least it did the job, right? <laughs> Please take good care of that rainbow rose. I'd be really upset if you lost it. <gasps> is that the quest item? Do we get to keep a rose? Oh. No, it's not. Oh, it is. I got it earlier. I did. <gasps> Wait, where? Where is this? Where is this quest item? <gasps> oh, we get to keep both flowers. Oh, okay, okay, okay. A flowery accessory given by, away by Linny at his magic shows. It is an arrangement of a Lumi, Lumido, Lumidus? Lumi, Lumidus? Douche? Shh. However you say that, bells. 
uh, which symbolize parting, and rainbow roses, which symbolize which, that represent passion. Parting and passion are two separate perspectives sharing the same nature. What really matters is that is the present that we are living in. So maybe he gave us the first one because he thought like, oh, like, you know, we weren't going to be around for a while. And then um, he gave us the second one because he realized that we were actually his friends all along. Guys, that was the best quest. I loved that. I never really loved the character quests like that. That was so good.